Hey guys, what's up? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today as always. And for today's video, I am bringing you guys a free-for-all game. I've never uploaded a free-for-all game and I'm super excited to be uploading one. Especially this one because this one is a very interesting one. Um, I've never played free-for-all, let alone on Numa Numa. <laughs> and I think Numa Numa is such a weird map. I think everyone thinks this is a weird map. But I do want to let you guys know, I don't really have any notes or any- I'm just gonna try to be 402 Thunder 402-ing this shit. <laughs> if you guys don't know who he is, he is an amazing commentator here on YouTube. He commentates over Call of Duty gameplay as well. And he is really, really funny, so I highly recommend his videos if you guys are ever wanting to watch some good commentaries. <laughs> they always make me laugh, but yeah, this is not sponsored by him. <laughs> um, but the guy you just saw me get killed by, he killed me- a my first three deaths I think it was or something like that but he kept getting the upper hand on me and I kept getting upset I was like this dude keeps killing me but then I ended up uh, killing him and winning the gunfights which were really weird gunfights I ended up climbing up on a ladder on one of them and then jumping off and I didn't want to get on the ladder there's a gnat in my face Jesus what the heck <laughs> um, but yeah and I end up making him rage quit so that was really funny <laughs> and honestly a lot of people ended up rage quitting in this game or at least just quitting out I don't know why I don't know if it was because it was too slow or because they just kept getting outgunned but yeah you'll see me later on in the gameplay like running around and chasing people and I actually chased this one guy and it turns out when I was trying to shoot him and try to get close to him I ended up just getting shot in the back and it was just the dumbest thing ever <laughs> but yeah I also want to point out in this gameplay I do get attack dogs which was really really cool I never thought I would get like attack dogs in a free-for-all but when I got the attack dogs guys listen to this I killed two of them i killed two of my doggies and you know how it's because they showed up as enemy dogs on my screen so i was in flamethrower mode and i just was spraying the flames at them and they were just looking at me all sad and i was like wait a minute what is going on and i realized i actually do end up killing them because i ran through the same path later on in the game and i found them laying there on the ground and i was really upset <laughs> But I probably would have finished off the game um, with 30 kills. And yeah, just like I said, this game goes by really slow towards the end because people keep leaving. And I actually end up winning by the timer running out. So <laughs> yeah, I ended up like fast forwarding some parts of this gameplay and cutting out some of my spawn ins um, to kind of shorten this gameplay because of how long it is like Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, I also do want to just talk to you guys about the dogs as well a little bit more um as far as just attack dogs in call of duty vanguard goes so as you guys know it does take 10 kills to get attack dogs in this game and on top of that there is a perk called dead drop i think that's what it's called <laughs> i just started using it um i haven't figured out how to use it well i unlocked it later in the night last night and it was just really late so i didn't really get a chance to use them um i guess you have to press lbrb to use it but it was really weird because i don't know if you press it after you're dead or before you use your dogs or after you use your dogs I don't know <laughs> but a lot of people are actually complaining about dead drop being a thing so basically what it is if you don't know it is say you get your 10 kill streak and you get your doggies well you're able to pop dead drop and if you die um, you spawn in back at nine kills so you only need one more kill to get dogs again so you can really get dogs twice within like less than 10 five seconds because if you die and you use it then you get dogs again <laughs> as long as you actually just kill somebody when you spawn in i don't think it works if you spawn in and then just die after you popped it so yeah <laughs> I mentioned dead drop because a lot of people like i said are complaining about it and i just want to say dead drop may seem really op if the dogs were really op but i think the dogs are completely broken in this game and i don't mean that in a good way like i really believe that they are trash at being attack dogs like sometimes my attack dogs will actually just stand there i've seen enemy 
attack dogs stand there i should be dead like a hundred percent of the time that a dog is chasing me but he ends up just stopping right in front of me like he's wanting a pat on the head or something for being a good doggy for not killing me <laughs> and then i just kill him because he gives me mixed signals and i don't know how to handle that and i get confused and scared <laughs> but i have killed more attack dogs by far than i have gotten killed by attack dogs i think i've died maybe less than five times from attack dogs out of my whole nine hours of playing this game and that's just crazy because i think when you do call in your attack dogs i think like there's six or six to ten dogs that spawn in yeah i swear the dogs are just so broken in such a bad way in this game so i am not completely opposed to dead drop because they are straight garbanzo beans in this game <laughs> i don't get it like i know black ops 2 attack dogs were so good and so fluid and consistent i don't understand why they can't implement the same attack dog system i don't know why it's like that i mean it's probably because it's a different developer but I mean, take some notes, guys, from Treyarch, Jesus. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below on Attack Dogs and Dead Drop if you guys have used it. But yeah, I am interested to see what you guys have to say about it because I just don't think Dead Drop really is that bad of a thing because of the fact that the dogs are so bad. <laughs> they don't know how to be doggies. They're more so like little snakes on the map. Like they just stay in one spot and then if you go near it, then it'll attack you. But yeah. Another streak I wanted to talk about really quickly while we're on the subject is the flamethrower. So I didn't know that the flamethrower actually showed up on the map for everyone to see. You basically have a VSAT on you <laughs> and your position on the map is revealed to everybody. Like it's crazy. It has a constant ping on where you are and I didn't know that. So I don't know if I'll be running flamethrower anymore now that I think about it because I like to be secret. I thought I was running around the map as a flamethrower guy and no one knew where I was. <laughs> And even considering that I think it takes a really long time to kind of kill enemies in this game with the flamethrower, I feel like your ping on the map shouldn't be a thing. I feel like you shouldn't be revealed on the map, in my opinion. Um, just because of the fact that it does kill kind of too slow, given how fast you kill in Vanguard. Like, it doesn't make any sense, honestly. You would think that the TTK for the flamethrower would be probably just as fast, if not faster than, you know, the weapons in the game. Um, and then at that point, then I would agree with being fully shown on the enemy map to where your whereabouts are. But considering that it takes like a solid like two to three seconds to kill an enemy versus like one second, after setting them on fire. <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel like you shouldn't be constantly shown on the map towards the enemies, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about it, and I really wanted to just like show you guys this video because as you guys saw, I was shooting my dogs, or I was shooting the flames at my dogs in this, and I was so confused, and then I was sad when I found out I was the one that murderized them. <laughs> so yeah, that's unfortunate. And I guess only three attack dogs spawn when you're in free-for-all, so that's a tip as well. <laughs> but yeah, guys, there's about nine seconds left on the clock for this gameplay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up for me. It means a lot. <laughs> and comment below your thoughts on doggies and a flamethrower and dead drop if you get to the end of this. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Have a nice one. Bye!